Hi, welcome to Car TV. I'm Neil Schneider. Today I'm going to show you how to nail a roasted chicken. All right, firstly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat our oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna grab our chicken. Now this is purely about method. You can brine or season the chicken as heavily as you like. And they tend to add the giblets and all that just inside. This one's actually pretty clean. They've actually done that for us. And we're gonna grab our butcher's twine that we have. And we're just gonna do a quick little tie right around the legs here. And kind of push them up to make it easier. You can go over and around. You can go through if you want. And then we're just going to do a nice little tie, super simple knot. So the reason why I like to tie up the legs is it makes a much more even cook. If the legs are kind of spread out to the sides, what can happen is there's just too much airflow underneath the legs and then they can actually cook a lot quicker than the rest of the bird. A lot of the times the wing tips come with the bird. Now you can keep them on if you prefer, or you can take them off. The reason being is they actually get in the way of crisping the skin on the breast. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna follow right into the joint, and you can kind of feel when you hit the cartilage, and you're just gonna remove it. Okay, we're gonna do the same on the other side, right down through the knuckle, and then we're gonna have our bird just like this. Now we're gonna put it into the pan. You can put those wing tips in there too if you want added flavor. And then what we're gonna do is I've gone ahead and I've sliced some garlic, and then I've also sliced up some shallot. And then that is gonna go inside of the bird with a couple knobs of butter. With the butter, you can be pretty generous. It really just prevents the bird from drying out too much. It, and again, you really can't go wrong with too much butter. We're gonna lift the leg and we're gonna put the butter right into the crevice. Okay. We're gonna take our shallot, some garlic. Okay. So now that I put my garlic, shallots, and butter into the bird, uh, I've gone ahead and selected some very standard poultry herbs. Today I have sage, some rosemary, and some thyme. And then we're just gonna grab a couple sprigs of each. With sage, it can be pretty aggressive. You don't need to too much. So just a little goes a long way. And with the heel of your blade, we're just gonna give the herbs a couple taps really until you just start smelling those herbs. And what that does is it doesn't chop them and break them into little bits, but it allows those oils to be released. And we're gonna grab those herbs, and again, we're gonna go right into the chicken. All right, so now that you have everything inside the chicken, what I've gone and done is I've softened up some butter, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna very generously coat the entire chicken, okay? And you're just gonna kind of massage that butter all the way through, doesn't need to be perfect or pretty. You can get really messy with this. You can be very, very generous with the amount that you put on. All right, so now that we've generously buttered our bird, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a little bit of salt, and this is really not to season. What this is really to do is to just to allow the skin to crisp up a little bit better and just remove a little bit of that moisture. So we're just gonna use a little bit of salt here, just enough to cover the skin, okay? All right, so now that you've salted the bird, we're gonna go right into the oven. General rule of thumb is 15 minutes cook time per pound of chicken. All right, so now that you have your bird in the oven, what we're gonna do is we're going to set a timer for 20 minutes and just keeping a very close eye on it, every oven differs. All right, so we've been constantly rotating our chicken, checking it every 20 minutes or so, making sure that our temperature is on par. Now, what I really find is important is that you probe it in the right location, right? If you probe it on the breast side, it's gonna give you a very different reading than when you probe it near the thigh where it's bone in. You really wanna make sure that you're getting right into those knuckles because that's where it's gonna be coldest and that's where you need to bring that temperature up. Now for a chicken, we really wanna look at about 71 to 75 degrees Celsius. 
So we're up to 75 right now, it's perfect. So now that our chicken is cooked, what I like to do for a nice little garnish is I make something that's called a bouquet garni. A lot of fine dining restaurants use this uh, for their whole chicken. It's just a nice mixture of poultry herbs. Chances are you're cooking this with some side veg, like some potatoes or, or some broccoli. So again, you can add that to the pan as well. But today I really just wanted to focus on the bird itself and um, go from there. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna grab some rosemary, some thyme, and sage. Then I'm gonna grab my butcher's twine here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie a nice little knot in the middle and make sure everything is nicely put together. Now what's nice about a bouquet garni is you can actually just kind of use this as almost a brush uh, when you're serving it. You can, you can kind of just dip these herbs in and rebase the chicken. So you can kind of go like that and just give it a nice brush. Then you can put it right in the crevice like that. Thanks for tuning in to CAR TV. I'm Neil Schneider and this is how you roast a chicken. <laughs>